All right, let's talk today about Richard Sherman and the Dallas Cowboys, because I've gotten a lot of questions about this. But first, if you like what you're watching, consider giving it a thumbs up. Also, smash that subscribe button. And if you're feeling frisky, ring the bell. That way you're always notified when I post new Cowboys videos. Shout out to all of you people that are subscribing. So I've had multiple people ask me about Richard Sherman. Would the Cowboys sign Richard Sherman? Wouldn't he make sense for the Cowboys? And the answer is 100% he would make a ton of sense for the Cowboys. Of course, the former Seattle Seahawk who played in Legion of Boom under Dan Quinn is a free agent. He's still unsigned and he could really help to shore up a really young secondary. I mean, it makes almost too much sense. Really young secondary, basically all rookies and second year guys, with the exception of Jordan Lewis and Anthony Brown. But a guy that is obviously familiar with Dan Quinn, has been successful under him, so it could help to teach some of these young guys that are going to be the focal points of this defensive secondary, help school them up on what they need to know about this defense and how to play it from a cornerback standpoint, how to be most successful within it. I would be all for the Cowboys bringing in Richard Sherman. It makes too much sense. Great leader, skins in the wall that can help to bring along, coach, and provide much needed veteran leadership to that de defensive backfield. A guy that, again, has that credibility and most importantly, has been successful under the Cowboys' current defensive coordinator. Now, he is 33 years old. He is coming off an injury that had to miss all but five games last year. But in 2019, he had a really good season and played in 15 games. So it's clear that this guy still has a lot left in the tank. And again, setting all of the on-field stuff aside for a moment, here's a guy that would provide a ton of value in that locker room. Now, here's the reality of the situation. There's no chance it's happening. There is 0% chance that the Cowboys would sign Richard Sherman for a host of reasons. Let's start with the fact that the Cowboys don't spend money on aging veterans. Let's count with the fact that the Cowboys don't really spend money at all. And that's really all we need to know, right? The Cowboys haven't really spent a lot of money in recent years. When they have, it's certainly not to players on the other side of 30, which isn't the worst idea in the world. But maybe sometimes you should be willing to go outside your very strict guidelines to sign a guy like Richard Sherman that, as I've been talking about, would provide a ton of value to that locker room and on the field. I mean, here's the reality of the situation. The Cowboys' defense has improved pretty dramatically from a personnel standpoint. And they're counting on this year a lot of young players, especially in the back end of their defense. That's my biggest fear. The cornerbacks in today's NFL are probably the most important position out there because of the proliferation of the aerial attacks across the NFL. Cowboys are going to have a great pass attack. I'm worried about what their defense looks like against the pass, which again is most important component of defending in the NFL. And they're counting on a bunch of first and second year players trying to do that. That, or they're counting on guys in like Anthony Brown and Jordan Lewis that have already shown what they can and cannot do. And they're pretty limited. The latest reports around Richard Sherman say that he's going to probably wait until training camp and sign with a contender. Cowboys could be that contender. The problem is, he's probably going to be looking at a salary north of anything the Cowboys would be willing to offer. And the Cowboys have been crying poor all offseason. And I get it. Salary cap numbers are down in this season. But as I've talked about time and time again, it's a fallacy. Have you seen the numbers that are being reported on the upcoming new TV deal? The salary cap is going to rise and rise and rise. So you can make any salary work because you know that if you restructure a deal here, restructure a deal there, open up some money down the road, that salary cap is going up so much that any restructuring now is going to look like pennies on the dollar of years from now. You can borrow from tomorrow against today because tomorrow the salary cap is going to explode. The Cowboys are going to continue to cry poor because, well, they don't want to spend money. And so crying poor to hear where the salary cap is down is the easy path of least resistance. So why even put a video together if inevitably all I'm going to tell you is there's no chance the Cowboys are going to sign Richard Sherman? Because they should. And the Cowboys are making a mistake. Because they're putting too much on the plate of a very, very young secondary. There's a lot of talent there. A lot of talent. I'm excited to see what these guys can do in the back end of this defense. But transitioning from cornerback, from college football into the NFL, 
is arguably one of the toughest transitions in the entire league to make. And they put a lot on the plate of Trayvon Diggs last season, and he played well enough, but it takes years and years to develop at that position. And Trayvon Diggs at this point is their best lottery ticket, and he's not a veteran. So you can hedge against all of these rookie lottery tickets that you've put into action with Nashawn Wright and Kelvin Joseph by bringing in a guy like Richard Sherman to provide you a backbone to this cornerback and crew with a known commodity that can obviously provide leadership and guidance for these young players, but also give you a little bit of an insurance policy in case these young players don't pick it up fast enough. And now you're caught in a situation down the stretch of this season to where you have a great offense that's ready to win a Super Bowl with a defense that's not. Thanks for checking out today's video. If you like what you watched, give me a thumbs up. Plus, smash that subscribe button and ring the bell if you're feeling frisky. That way you're always notified when I post a new video.